Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto C and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see the phone in front of me is already locked and we're gonna begin uh, the bypass from the first page. Now before we actually get started there is two things that we will need. Number one is a SIM card with uh, any kind of contact on it and number two is an SD card uh, with a app that will be provided in the description. So you want to download that app and through your computer just load it to the SD card and then put it into the phone. So from there, let's, I'm going to back out to the first page. So from here, I'm going to tap on emergency, emergency dialer, tap on it twice. And from here, go to the pencil to edit, continue. We're going to go to contacts, add contact. That's where the SIM card comes in and choose any kind of contact. From here, tap on the contact, uh, let's allow, allow whatever it comes up with, and it will bring up the info of the contact. Now from here, when I tap on the three dots and go to share, when you see the Gmail, you wanna hold that, make sure you hold it, this is kinda important. Uh, otherwise, if you don't hold it, it won't give you this option here. So hold it, when it pops up with this window, tap on up info, and from here, go to notifications, tap on the settings gear icon, then three dots and go to manage accounts, continue, and you should be in settings. So starting off, we're gonna now go to the, let's go to security. And go security and from here number one you want to make sure to enable unknown sources right here and then scroll down further to where is it oh there it is uh, device administrator tap on it and deactivate this device administrator and go back once you have done those two things then we want to go into apps, which I think I just passed. Yep, there we go, apps, three dots, and go to show system and scroll down to G. So we're looking for Google Play services, which I just passed, there we go. And we have Gmail, Google Backup, Google Play Store and services, there we go. Stop on services, disable, disable app, Go back and then play store, disable, disable app. Yeah, as you can see, both of them are now disabled. From here, go back and in the main settings page, you wanna now go to storage. Go storage, tap on your SD card. Now, if you don't see your um, file right here, and that means that you probably are on the phone storage instead of the SD card. So tap on the three bars like I just did and go to your SD card. From here at the bottom, you should see your apps, tap on it, and tap next, next and install. So once it's done installing, actually you, you wanna just press on done instead of open. So let me just back out. So once it's done installing, you wanna back out to the settings. And from here, we're gonna go into accounts. So we can add an account. There we go, accounts, add account and choose Google. And from here, tap on a field and log in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can always create it on your computer. And that's where I would advise it. And then use it to log in here. Um, it can be any old account, new account, it doesn't really matter. You can create an account just for this purpose if you want to. 
uh, we will only need it well, basically once. So I have an account and that's what I'm going to use. And from here I'm going to put in a password. And then let's log in. So you will see the uh, terms of service. Let's scroll down and tap on that. I agree. And from now you will see that the app is crashing. Now that doesn't really matter anymore. It has allowed us to add the Google account. That's the only thing we needed the app for. And you will see this message probably pop up several more times uh, until we reset the device. Now, once you have added the Google account, we need to re-enable the apps that you have disabled. So let's go back to the apps, show system and scroll down again to G. There we go. And let's re-enable them. So Google Play Services and Google Play Store, enable. And once you enable it, what you want to do is hold power key. Where is it? There we go. Reboot. Okay, and let's wait for the device to reboot. I'm going to put in the pin for the SIM card and we can now continue. So once you're back in the setup, uh, you want to again progress through it. Now at this moment in time, it doesn't really matter what we set up. You just want to get as quick as possible through this setup. So skip as much as you can. Okay, so from here, let's tap on skip, skip. And we should now be on the home screen. Now, as you've seen, um, when finished looking for whatever it was looking, it gave us the option to log into Google, which we could skip. Uh, in normal circumstances, it should give us a message that account was added and provide us with the info of the account that we have added right before the reboot. But it looks like it, in this case, it kind of just decided to skip that step. Um, so from here, uh, you can see that the apps are right now crashing constantly and it's just glitching out. Um, so disregard that. What we want to do now is go into the settings. And from settings, let's scroll down. Where is it? Just decline this for now, doesn't really matter. Let's go to settings. And you want to scroll down all the way down to backup and reset. And then factory data reset. And as you can see, performing this will remove the Google account. Now it provides us only with one account right here, which is the one that we have added, but it will also remove the previous one that was blocking us, uh, basically fully unlocking the device in the process. So let's tap on reset phone. 
and uh, get blocked by a battery percentage, which uh, this device uh, struggles with. So in normal circumstances, you would tap on erase everything and the process would begin. Now, once it would be finished, uh, simply go through the setup process once more. And at that point, you can set it up as however you like, adding all the um, lock screens, uh, your Google accounts, and whatever you want. The device, like I said, will be at that point fully unlocked. Uh, unfortunately, because of the battery, I cannot do it, even though it's plugged in. Um, so, yeah. So once you reset it, like I said, just go to the setup and you will be finished. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.